Hi, I'm Lucas Holz, and today I will show you how consumer psychology allows you to understand and fix an advertisement. Now, I'm sure you haven't escaped them either. Advertisements that are so lame and annoying, they just make you cringe. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks, how is it possible they make them this bad? Surely even I could do a better job. Well, let's try. One of the more recent advertisements that drive me slightly mad is the one by Mobile Vikings. You know, this one. Kies for Mobile Vikings and get to 10 GB data for quasi nada. Even though the ad fulfills its purpose, informing us about a new service and what we can do with it, and it was praised by the advertisement industry, I personally never really understood the ad and even found it very annoying. It even made me dislike the brand. Insights from consumer psychology combined with some personal research revealed why. The reason was threefold. The first thing that made the advertisement get on my nerves was the song that was used. Aside from it being a bland and uninspiring song, it more importantly lacks any link with the target audience. Since the song came out in 1981, the people that grew up with it are now around 53 years old, hardly the target audience. This is really important since research has proven that a good musical fit with the target group is very important to create positive attitudes towards a brand and their product. The entire spiel of the ad was to use the lyrics of the song to highlight the message, you know, da da ta, to emphasize data, and singing the uses of the data while simultaneously showing them on screen. The same can be achieved, however, with a song more fit to the target audience, being the young adults. Just try More by Usher, for example. Highlight a new use case of data every time he sings the word more. The idea is the same, you just use a song more fit to the audience, which in turn makes them like your product and brand more. After tackling the main source of annoyance, let's figure out why the ad was hard to understand at times. Let's take a look at some frames from the ad, shall we? Can you spot the problem? Now it turns out it's completely normal to be distracted or confused by these kinds of images. Research has shown that highly complex backgrounds like these, with lots of colors, people and weird arrangements, make it hard to process the information on the screen. And even worse, they pull away the viewer's attention from a product. So not only do we not understand what is going on, we don't pay attention to the product anymore, defeating the entire point of having an ad. So how do we fix it? Use a background of moderate complexity without too many people since we tend to focus on human faces and reduce the cognitive load on people. Result? Viewers pay more attention to the product, are better able to process the information in the ad and are thus more inclined to buy the product. Now that we understand why the ad was confusing, let's figure out what makes the ad dislikable. A key factor to my dislike for this ad is the way the actor speaks. This is related to the accent they use. Research has shown that accent determines how well viewers remember information from an ad, but also that it influences brand liking and brand preference. This is very important in an industry such as that of the mobile providers, which is fiercely competitive. While the original ad uses more of an intermediary accent, which helps people remember information better, in this case it's more important to make sure people prefer your brand over the competition. Information can be googled, a brand preference can't. To achieve this, research says you should use a standard accent or the official version of a language. So, how to get me to like your brand and product? Use standard Flemish and I won't go to your competitors. Now, to recap, what would I change on this ad? First, use music that fits your target audience better. Second, don't make the backgrounds too complex. And third, speak in standard Flemish. All right. Interested in the consumer's mind and how it interacts with media? Do you want to learn the psychological tricks of advertisement? Or do you simply think you can do a better job than I did? Try it yourself. Consumer psychology gives you all the knowledge and insights you need.